I don't know if you've been following this um, Linus Tech Tips thing, but essentially Linus Tech Tips is a YouTube channel with 15 million subscribers, more than 15 million subscribers. It basically started out as just a regular old dude, just a nerd who liked to repair computers and has now morphed into a 100 plus employee mega behemoth with complete with, um, you know, corporate muckety muck CEOs and all this kind of stuff uh, from huge, super huge companies. Um, and now Linus is being canceled essentially for letting things fall apart under his watch. You know, that's essentially what it is, in my opinion. Uh, without going into rehashing the entire story, another tech channel, um, Gamers Nexus, essentially responded to a unsolicited pot shot that Gamers Nexus got from a Linus Tech Tips employee and for 45 minutes proceeded to absolutely rake Linus Tech Tips over the coals, given about, I don't know, a dozen or so obvious errors that they published. There was a prototype that they were sent from a company in which they inaccurately used that prototype on the wrong graphics card and then complained that it didn't work, even though they were sent a card for it. They just couldn't be bothered to get the card that came with it or use the appropriate card. They did a whole video on the thing and slammed it and said it was junk and never even bothered to, you know, to be like, hey, this, um, we've got a new gasoline or we've got, you know, our car, we've got a car we want to send you. It runs on um, diesel fuel, okay? So make sure you get diesel. In fact, we sent four cans of diesel for you. And then you take it to the gas station, put regular gas in it, and then you upload a 45-minute review about it and say it's a piece of crap. Like, it's, it's that bad. And then they sold the thing, the prototype that they weren't supposed to sell, as far as I know. Now, Linus has answered for some of the things and responded and given, you know, said they were going to pay for it and this, that, and the other thing, which is all good. But on top of this, now you have a female ex-employee. I don't want to say what you all think I'm going to say about hiring women and young millennial Zoomer women in 2023. It's a meme, but it just always seems to be. But I will say this. This woman has some legitimate gripes. She has some complaints that are cringe, like, oh, my God, my job is so hard. Uh, it was so hard and so toxic. Uh, but they also, she also has like some legitimate creepy stuff that happened in office. Um, I want to like, you know, at this point, if you've made it in this far in this video, like I'm not, I don't think, I don't view Linus Tech Tips as canceled. I don't think he is an evil man. I don't think he made these mistakes on purpose. I think that it's essentially he just, um, you know, he just, was rushing out too many videos and they weren't doing another uh, thing. So this woman comes out, ex Linus Tech Tips employees, talks about toxic work culture, says she once cut her leg open just to get a day off. Popular YouTube channel Linus Tech Tips is known for tech reviews as well as news. We all know about that. The woman, Madison Reeve, had led the company two years ago and is apparently still very angry about it. Uh, and took to Twitter to talk about our time there recently. In the Twitter thread, she also revealed how she was harassed at Linus Tech Tips, not by him, and that her mental health was being ruined. In response to Madison's claims, in a tweet, they said they are conducting an internal assessment and have brought a third-party investigator on board to look into the claims. Now, of course, this is exactly what happens to every major gaming company that has young men and young women working together. There's always this same problem. Now, men need to act better. That's true. You can't be telling your coworkers to twerk for you. That's not okay, which is something that happened. Um, but also, it seems like whether it's Riot Games or it's Blizzard, is, is every man who works in this industry a total piece of junk? It seems unlikely. It seems unlikely. You know, I, I always, anytime someone complains about a toxic work culture, it's always a woman. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Now that I say that, you know, I, 
I don't mean to dis, you know, diminish some of the legitimate complaints that this woman had, but I always find it curious, okay? She hasn't worked there in two years, right? Let me just defend Linus a little bit here. By the way, in case you didn't remember, Linus Tech Tips was against the Canadian trucker strike. Just thought I'd point that out. Um, but it's, it's pretty curious that this woman waited until Linus was being canceled to put, release a 400 tweet thread about how she's, you know, had this terrible time at the job two years ago and had quit two years ago. So, you know, are the things that happened to her okay? No. Do I think it's it's a little bit of bad blood and a little bit of uh, a little bit of um, attention seeking to put this threat out now? Yes, two things can be true at once. You know, and I think that like the idea that like I I had a lot of work to do. I was told to calm my calm your tits. <laughs> I mean, that kind of stuff is like I don't really care. You're not being harassed if somebody says that. I've said that to men, too. Yeah, Linus did love the masking up. Uh, he did hate the trucker. He spoke out against a trucker strike, if I remember correctly. And some people said, I don't know if this is true, but he also, I don't know if it was 100% true, but I thought his people said his employees maybe had to get the poke, too. So they write it, we're taking Madison's claims seriously. We are conducting an internal assessment alongside bringing in a third party investigator looking at these claims. We are committed to publishing the findings and implementing any corrective actions that may arise due to this. Thank you for your patience and allow us time necessary, blah, 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 blah. In addition to our existing report systems, both anonymous and otherwise, we've proactively reached out internally today to encourage our team to report any workplace bullying or harassment they might have experienced. I mean, why are all these leftists? It's funny. It's like when you hire a bunch of leftists, this is what you get. I mean, am I wrong? Am I wrong? You hire a bunch of leftists and this is always the case. It looks like, you know, he's not getting ratioed or anything, you know. People that like people that already hated Linus, that's fine. Um, but like what does this woman complain that guys came on to her at work? That happens. I'm not saying it's okay to put your hands on someone or make them feel uncomfortable. But I just think it's funny that I've seen statements like this from literally every leftist co company in our space. Whether it's like uh, uh, Linus Tech Tips, Blizzard, Riot Games, other small, uh, you know, video, uh, other small video game outlets that are far left. They always have these same kind of statements. Like it's, it's funny to me and you see new tech, uh, we talked about, you know, the controversy, but what I thought was interesting. He wrote, I was in a state of shock reading through these allegations, plain and simple Linus tech ticks, tips response. He went on to explain that the HR team at Linus media group will be investigating. First of all, you shouldn't even have an HR team. No company needs an HR team. Sorry, HR workers. No company needs an HR team. So now you have. You know, this Madison Reeve later posting a jarring Twitter thread. Most of I was laughing at. There was some, there was some legitimate bad things, but you completely lose, uh, you completely lose my, again, I always say this, I say this with like me too as well. I find it curious when you come out of the woodwork years later at just the right time, at just the right moment to maximize your own personal gain from something that doesn't remove, that doesn't remove, uh, you know, that doesn't remove if there was bad behavior, but the fact that you're coming out now and whining about it now, it's odd to me. Does that, you know, that, does that make sense? Like it just, the, the timing of it feels odd. And look, like this guy, Linus or whatever, um, I'm sure he's not involved in the day to day, day to day. He's not even the CEO anymore. You know what I mean? Like 
this not even he's not even the CEO anymore. I'm not sure that, you know, I, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's when you hire all these leftists, the dudes are also creeps. That could be when you run these like leftist companies and you have your internal politics and you only hire leftoids. They're the ones that are creepy. And uh, you end up having to, you know, think of this thing. Yet Linus also thought uh, Threads was going to be a huge hit. So it's going to be interesting to see exactly how this all gets all this shakes out but um it's int it's interesting the verge also received a, a statement from lmg ceo taryn tong who was similarly shocked at madison reeves twitter thread i mean you quit two years ago why are you even thinking about it anymore it's just very weird um this is gonna swing my look don't be such a crappy boss fix your you know get some editorial stuff done and you'll be okay um and stop hiring creeps and people that think having to do three tweets and two TikToks a week is too much work. You'll probably be okay. That's the latest. I don't know if we're going to have much more out of Linus until they come back. I would never have told them to take time off. I would have told them to immediately keep creating videos um, to just work through it because this is such a nothing burger. This is not like a being canceled thing. It just isn't. Um, but... I guess we'll have to wait and see how it all shakes out.